Monday, August 1st, 2022 is a great day to be a Cars fan. After over a year and a half of waiting, we finally have the trailer for Cars on the Road, coming to Disney Plus on September 8th of this year. This show is thankfully releasing way sooner than I thought, so without further ado, let's break the trailer down. The first thing we get to see is the legend, Lightning McQueen himself, race around Willie's Butte. Interestingly enough, he appears to be uh, just on his own, and he's in his Cars 3 Florida paint job. Uh, my guess is that this will be how the series opens, uh, but it is interesting that they chose this paint job and not something else like the fabulous uh, McQueen paint job from the end of Cars 3, or just any other McQueen paint job, really. Uh, immediately after that, it cuts to McQueen and Mater on the salt flats. Uh, McQueen now in his on-the-road design. Uh, this is likely when they first arrive there, and they decide to go for a little race. Um, and so this probably will be pretty early on. Um, I don't want to say it's the first episode. Um, I think the first episode will be just when they leave. Uh, so maybe, I want to say maybe like the halfway point. After that, we get a scene in Radiator Springs where Mater announces that he is heading out east for his sister's wedding, uh, to which most of the townsfolk are surprised to hear. Uh, I myself wasn't sure if we'd actually get to see a whole lot of the townies, but this scene here looks pretty cool, uh, and the updated animation for Radiator Springs is incredible. Um, and so obviously this is right at the start of the series when uh, the journey with Mater and McQueen starts. McQueen decides to join Mater on his road trip out east, and so their journey begins. Uh, they drive through a cornfield, and we also see um, them cloud watching. Uh, there's a nice cool little monster truck cloud in the sky, uh, and they stop at little, like, fun tourist, uh, thing, attractions like the world's largest lug nut, which I'm sure if you've been on a road trip with your family or friends, you'll, you'll have very, uh, similar experiences to that. The next shot is very brief, but very interesting, as we see Mater in a blue paint job on a giant stage in front of the American flag. On the front of the stage is what looks to me like the seal of the President of the United States. Uh, this, there's a female car uh, on the stage with Mater. Uh, could it possibly be the President herself? I'm still holding out hope for a Donald Trump or Obama car, uh, but it very well could be the President in the Cars universe. Uh, and this appears to be in a garage near a cemetery indicated by the crosses in the night outside. Next, we see McQueen and Mater souped up like cavemen or something, uh, watching a dinosaur roar in front of a volcano. Uh, this no dino is most likely animatronic, considering we see at the very end of the trailer, uh, they're at some sort of theme park uh, called Cartaceous Gardens, obviously named after the Cretaceous period. Uh, and then back on the salt flats, we see McQueen and Mater driving casually through the uh, crowd. Uh, in their back, there are a couple few... Uh, background cars like an RV, as well as um, a Volkswagen Beetle that's the exact same as Zanadu bumpers, uh, and even the red and white background truck from Cars 3. Guess there's probably a Genta Incident that I'll be hiding in the show too. Taking a twist on what was already seen, we get a glimpse at a car in an ominous uh, hall with green smoky lights. Obviously this is a haunted house, but the question is, is it part of a theme park or is it really haunted? Uh, we get a few brief glimpses of McQueen and Mater's uh, drives and stop, uh, stops, including what looks to be like a mountainside lodge uh, and a spare parts store, maybe like a pawn shop or something, uh, due to the trading and the phone number and stuff on the sign. Uh, we also see Mater show off his backwards driving skills as he drives through a field outside um, something that looks like a, like a mansion or a castle or something. Uh, the pink and purple contents serve as the entranceway to Circus Velocitas. Uh, Velocitas is the uh, Latin word for speed or velocity, uh, but it could actually be a play on uh, words with the American Circus, Circus Vargas. I don't know if I'm just reaching there, but uh, anyways, thanks to le Diecast Leaks uh, at San Diego Comic Con, it seems that potentially this is where Sterling now works. Uh, and here we get to plenty clown cars, uh, we get to see plenty of clown cars, uh, doing all sorts of stunts and tricks, uh, which is very similar to the, or at least it reminds me of the start of Cars 2, the deleted scene, uh, where there are clown cars at a piston cup race, uh, and then 
Anyways, after that, we see McQueen and Mater partying at a truck stop. Next, McQueen and Mater befriend a new character, uh, who we know to be named Ivy. Uh, and she's all covered in moss and dirt and, well, Ivy too, so I guess uh, that explains the name. Uh, but because of her wild, uh, I guess, in the wild appearance, uh, she's most likely mistaken for Bigfoot. Uh, however, she emerges in a bright blue paint job after getting cleaned at the whale car wash. Back at the truck stop, uh, the cabs begin to surround Mater, um, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. It's like they're dancing or something. Uh, but then we also see this black car fighting what looks to be zombies um, due to their giant brain-like like roofs. Um, and then because of the backgrounds, it's obviously uh, during an apocalypse. Uh, and so due to the nature of this shot, I think it's a movie or like a show or something uh, that the characters are actually watching. I don't think this is actually a scene. Like, I don't think there's going to be zombies in the show. I think it's maybe Lightning and Mater watch a movie about zombies or something. Uh, but yeah, anyways, then we see a cult of like tribal like cars uh, with this upside, upside down pylon thing. Uh, and there's a monster ice cream truck, uh, who I believe is Dustin Mellows' model, which is pretty cool. Uh, and he's just there to intimidate McQueen and Mater and stuff. Uh, and the rest of all of these car, cult cars, I'm calling them, uh, they race around a pit of fire uh, as pities play the drum on this giant truck, which is pretty cool looking to me. It reminds me of... I don't know why, but this scene in Aquaman with the octopus playing the drums. Uh, uh, yeah. A cool scene I noticed was Mater getting a bug in his eye, uh, which also appears to be at that castle or mansion or something. Uh, but anyways, maybe I'm just overthinking it as a simple joke. But this also, this reminded me a lot of the original Cars teaser trailer where Mater gets a bug in his eye. Then we see a bunch of uh, random cars dancing down the streets, or roads, uh, and they all have neon lights uh, at the bottom. Uh, and one of them is actually, we can see, is Todd the Pizza Planet truck, so that's pretty cool. Uh, then Mater enters some crazy dream sequence at the truck stop. Um, and this sort of reminds me of the scene in Dumbo, where they get drunk. So, I don't know what's going on there, but yeah. Next, we see McQueen and Mater uh, all souped up in gear alongside the cult cars, and they appear to be fighting a war or something with modern, more modern cars uh, due to their solar panels uh, and tasers uh, that they wield as weapons rather than um, just like spikes and stuff that the cult cars are using. Uh, and then, anyways, we also see uh, Mater McQueen race in what looks to be a cage, uh, and spikes start, like, poking through it, and Asa does as well. Um, I think this scene, because this scene is obviously with the cult cars, I think this is them trying to prove their worth, um, to, uh, to the tribe. Like, maybe they have to race, uh, and then they prove it, and so then they want them, uh, to join them in their battle. On the salt flats, we see Mater uh, upgraded in his rocket gear, which we've seen lots of times before in promotional images and stuff. Uh, and we see him zoom across the salt flats, uh, leaving the queen in the dust, but his gear also starts to uh, rip apart and fall off. We see Cave Karma Queen and Mater uh, racing away from the dinosaur that's chasing them. Uh, and then at the haunted house, green ghosts start to emerge from all the paintings. Uh, and they circle around McQueen and even, like, dance with him and lift him up. Uh, so this scene is really weird, and I hope this is his case where Lightning's imagination has gone wild, because I don't really want ghosts to be a thing in this universe, at least in this way. I don't know, it's just kind of weird to me, and it's, like, they're really leaning into the wackiness. I can, I can live with, like, the dinosaurs, considering they're part of like a, uh, a theme park, but if they have, like, ghosts and a, a, a war, 
going on. I really don't know how to feel about that, to be honest. In the final few shots of the trailer, we get to see Ivy performing a few circus stunts, uh, and then these like stone car statue things fall down uh, towards McQueen and Mater, uh, and then tr finally Tribal McQueen and Mater are involved in the heat of the battle with the modern cars. Um, so the trailer ends with a joke of McQueen and Mater stuck in the world's largest tire maze, uh, and interestingly enough, uh, my friend Epic Blue Thunder pointed out that there is no entrance to the part where Mater is stuck. So whether or not that's intentional or not, I have no idea how Mater got there, but hey, I'm sure he found a way. So yeah, that's the Cars on the Road trailer. This show uh, looks really interesting, a little weird in a lot of elements, uh, but overall I'm really excited uh, for it to be the rebirth of franchise there's definitely a lot of die cast potential here so that's uh really exciting uh, uh but anyways yeah so thank you all so much for watching my breakdown be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what you thought of this trailer you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the left watch another video by clicking on the right that's all for today folks i'll see you in another one here's Chris 8 signing out